Well, hello everybody and welcome or welcome back here to my channel where I play Planet Zoo. My name is Nisse and today we're gonna go over another mod. This is the Santa Cruz Island Galapagos Tortoise. And uh, I'm pretty sure that some of you think then why do we need this? We already got a Galapagos Tortoise. Uh, Galapagos Giant Tortoise. Uh, actually but uh, let's just move this this is the mama these are the babies small small babies if we just move the mama over here and at the same time found the other mama Alberta Galapagos there it was over here I wanted you then let's just take a look at them side by side. These are both female, so the size doesn't influence it. The, uh, the gender doesn't influence this size. So this is the giant Gal Galapagos giant tortoise from the game. And this is the Santa Cruz Galapagos giant, uh, tortoise. I don't think it's called giant. Not here in a way. Um, so <laughs> the size is clearly a reason to pick this one um, you can also see here the size with the people out here it is big so if you have a re issue where people just don't see your tortoises uh, then this one could be a winner and another reason to pick this one is this one swim um, and actually a lot uh, and not only walk around the edge of the puddle here, it swims right through it. So, there's a few reasons why you should pick this mod. Uh, that doesn't mean that the original uh, Galapagos giant tortoise isn't good. It's just if you want something different, this, there's a possibility here. It is critically endangered uh, and there are a thousand plus what's it called exact number unknown so we don't really know but hopefully it's a plus here and not a minus um a lot of tortoises around the world are endangered one be reason being that they're just too far apart and they kind of need to meet each other to be with each other and they live on these islands down here in South America uh, Galapagos Island Santa Cruz Island so this only say one island so I don't know if this is right or this is right then we have this tropical temperate and desert biome um, and one need a uh, hundred square meters of area um, they don't need water but they do as I said swim and another one need five extra square meters and a baby needs three extra square meters um, if you ever played with tortoises in the game you will at some point get a lot of babies not because they uh, reproduce a lot but just because the babies take so long time to grow up um, so uh, unless you want a baby boom be aware of that um, they live from 14 to 42 degrees I apologize for my voice today, um, <laughs> it's just one of those days. Uh, you need a grade 1 fence and it only needs to be half a meter high. I think it's the same as the other tortoises. And it's basically because t most tortoises aren't made to climb. Then we go over here, you can have one male, three females. Uh, if you have a mixed group, one or two males together or one to four females. If you have multiple males, then it's the largest male normally that's oh, that's the alpha. Um, I will say though, I had tortoises and don't be fooled by tortoises. It can be brutal if they fight. Uh, they are poly polyamorous. That's also why it makes sense to have multiple females with your male. And they are neutral about humans and guests can enter their habitat. They can be, they can grow up to one meter and twenty centimeters. That's around four feet, and then can become. They can be 
up to a hundred years old um, weigh around 295 kilos males and 160 females that's kind of weird when they the same size according to this but basically double the number and you have it in uh, pounds uh, they are a real sexual maturity here after 22 years. I do believe this is the same information that we got with the Galapagos giant tortoise. Hmm. Yeah, it's actually the exact same information here. And as we just saw, this one is way bigger. So either this is wrong or the size of here is wrong but otherwise it is the exact same information um, they can give babies until they die and they can get um, two to seven babies every uh, 24 months that two years and it takes them eight months to incubate their eggs um, they are very easy to get to reproduce in captivity, mainly because their main issue in the wild is that they are far apart. If you have a zoo, you bring them together and then they will actually get babies. We're gonna jump over here. No interspecies enrichment. Uh, but it, enrichments items, they have the same as the normal tortoises, both the Galapagos and the Albatra giant tortoise. Uh, that is uh, the game. So we have the herb scent market, the sprinkler, the ball, the rubber doggy, the other ball, the third ball. Uh, and for food enrichment, we have this uh, dog ball and the fruit spike tree. And lastly, we have the. Yeah, it's gone because it smelled it. This is the ice uh, block with frozen uh, fruit, not fish, fruit. Um, so by that's th that's the same and the Zoopedia is pretty much the same. But let's get a close up here at the beauties. I will say though, she just gave birth to these three things down here. And they're so small compared with their mama. Um, and I have seen turtle babies, we have, I'm not sure the difference between turtle and tortoise, but we had some when I was a child and uh, they were so small when they got, we got them and uh, at some point they just got bigger and bigger. It, it wasn't giant tortoises, of course, but it, it is kind of unbelievable how much baby tortoises grow over time. I would like to see here when we see the tail. This is the female and the male here. Hmm. I'm just gonna move him over to compare. Uh, there's a re reason why I want the, to see the tail on them. Uh, and I don't know if many people know, but you can see a tortoise gender by that tail. And that wasn't added here the females have a short tail that normally just go down uh, the males have a longer tail that normally goes sideways so it don't uh, touch the ground um, which he actually use to hold on while mating um, just a little fact um, I don't think the tortoise from the game have this difference so I, it's not weird that someone would miss it um, and I don't really know how many pictures of tortoises they look at when they make the muds but this is our beauty here and I love it I love the structure up here in on the what's it called shell no shell that fish right um, well, actually, it's their skeleton. <laughs> um, not all people know that, but uh, tortoises have no skeleton inside. It's all on the outside, um, which is why you should never like uh, knock on their shell or anything. Like, I keep calling it a shell. I'm not sure that's the word, but you should never knock on it because that would 
feel like someone knocked on your bone um, and that would be quite uncomfortable I do like the fact that he have worked a lot with the what's it called texture here it have so much texture of course when we go real close some of it will become a bit blurry it always does he did make the holes for the nose not just paint them on and we can actually wow that's detailed uh, you can actually see inside the mouth all the way up and see the tongue it re looks real good and the texture all the way down here wow that's good I do believe the leaf at some point uh, got a thing about tortoises that sounded weird uh, where he just put out multiple tortoises and I'm pretty sure that that can help a mother that when you really go into some kind of specific animals then you um what's it called when you go really much into a specific animal that would help you get the texture right and work on things and oh i didn't get it right there then i do it better here and that kind of stuff so i don't know if this was his first try or his last try but this is good amazing I have nothing. I don't think I have anything bad to say about it. Uh, the only thing is, and that's not the mud at all, <laughs> that's just be aware that they take up a lot of space. Uh, they are big. Uh, kind of. Uh, <laughs> very, very big. Can I just. Uh, so. And I'm personally in love with these big, big tortoises. I also like the small one, but I'm in love with the size of these. Look at this, the size different here. It's amazing. It's almost the size of the children. Uh, and maybe you're into that like me, and maybe you're not. Uh, and that's perfectly okay. But just be aware, if you don't want this giant, giant, giant tortoise, then don't get it. But otherwise, if you want a big, big, beautiful tortoise, then go to Nexus and find this luck link is in the description but shouldn't we just take a look at the babies there and you can see it's a much paler tortoise and it doesn't have the same texture up here as the mama do that's not a mistake it's normal that tortoises are born with clean skeleton if you can picture that it uh, these are also softer so when they grow it will grow with them um kind of like a baby there's there if you you shouldn't do it but a human baby if you press on their scalp it is actually soft compared to an adult uh you should should don't do it <laughs> um just take my word on this um but it is softer and it is also more um, even here. The reason why it has this much texture over here is because it's time and time and time again have been reconstructed over time to make it fit a much bigger tortoise. But the babies haven't done that yet. So it makes sense that there are these pale light more even. Uh, shells and again I love the details they are so small so they're hard to get a look at don't we just want to see him move yeah it isn't a sprint they can actually some tortoises can actually walk uh, extremely fast but again the bigger the tortoise the slower they move if you feel like they move a bit like um, sliding over the ground it's because the mothers have issue that they can set the speed of how big the mud can be they can only set the movement itself so therefore it doesn't fit but this newborn tortoise baby are going for a swim oh it's very beautiful wet here 
That's beautiful. Wow. You're actually going on under the water right now. The, your parents didn't do that. And now you <laughs> okay. The, it swims a bit underwater. We can see the uh, sibling over here does the same. But besides that, I have nothing bad to say about it. I don't actually think that they are made on the rig from the uh, torsos over here. Uh, I do believe that some of th some of the torsos must actually are made on a caiman or a crocodile or an alligator, which make them uh, able to swim. I don't know what you want to do with the bowl. It is an enrichment item, but um, yeah, you see it. Oh, and they do this weird thing here when they lay down with the one leg there and the one leg up here. Uh, I don't know why they do that. And I haven't seen the other tortoise do it here. Um, in real life, I normally see them lay with both legs this way, but uh, that's a w we can't tell them what to do. They they are allowed to do their own thing. So could we maybe compel one of you to take a swim? I don't think any of them uh, are going to swim. So I'm gonna make a cut here just to show you. And we're back, and maybe she's going for a swim now. <laughs> yeah, she does. And here you can see her swimming. They don't have legs for swimming, of course, because it is still a landed tortoise. Um, but they do still, but they are still able to. Also because they actually don't, that they actually aren't that heavy compared with what people might think. But anyway guys that's all I had for you today. I really hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe and turn on the bell of notifications so you know the next time I upload a video. I really hope to see you again either in the comments below or in the next video. Bye guys!